Good morning, friends. Welcome to our mission blogs and also good morning and welcome new friends to our mission blogs. It's a privilege to share the word of God with you and hopefully build up your faith and maybe give you new revelation and also to introduce the gospel to the unbeliever. Um, this morning I want to talk to you about the wedding of all time, the wedding we're looking forward to in heaven and also when we die or pass on uh, what we are looking forward to, to meeting our groom, the groom that will be united to the body of Christ, his church, or then the believer. Now, let me remind you that everything went wrong with the first wedding. The first wedding in Eden, everything went wrong. We know that the enemy got into the garden, spoiled the party, and uh, Adam and Eve left uh, the, the uh, Garden of Eden in guilt and in shame. Then we also know life is not always full of joy and happiness. There are definite moments of sadness and cruelty. We know that Cain murdered Abel and we know that Moses killed an Egyptian and he fled. But we know the good news is he went back to free the Israelites from Egypt. And we also know that most of the Big prophets in the Old Testament were persecuted and martyred, and they were killed. And we also know that the, the holy King David had issues with uh, lust. And we also know he committed adultery. And we also know that he sp uh, sent Uriah to the front lines to be killed. So it's actually manslaughter. So it, the whole story is not always a happy story. We even know that um, when, when uh, Elizabeth was expecting with John the Baptist, when uh, Mary came closer with Jesus in her uh, tummy, also pregnant, John the Baptist could feel Jesus and, and he was kicking out of joy in, in the womb of Elizabeth. But then later on we know, after John the Baptist opened the way for the Lord, the Messiah, to come, eventually he was beheaded by the king and his head was a gift for the queen. So it was also a sad and tragic ending for, for John the Baptist. And then we also know the groom of all grooms, Jesus Christ, the same story. Uh, he eventually was crucified. However, let me remind you of this beautiful story in John chapter 2. You must remember now, this is Jesus' first miracle. And he's attending a wedding, and uh, his mother come to him and say, Jesus, we have ran out of wine. And then uh, Jesus ordered uh, the, the host to bring him the cask, uh, the, sorry, the barrels of water. And then he turns those six barrels of water into the finest vintage wine. I believe it was close to 600 liters of wine. Can you imagine? Never mind. What I want to say to you is that then in the end of the book of Revelation, we're also looking forward to unite and be reconciled to this perfect uh, 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 offering, this perfect groom that died and, and died for our sins on the cross. So we can be reconciled to the Father. And then also we know that Jesus uh, sent his Holy Spirit as our new helper, friend, comforter, wisdom and strength. But now... All of this brings in a tear to, to one's eye. And I've been pondering on this a lot. So in the beginning, God created water. So if God didn't create water, Jesus couldn't change the water into wine as his first miracle at that wedding. And then when we shed a tear during our difficult times in life, when we are sad, just remember this. Out of this tear of sadness... Jesus changed that into the wine, the spiritual wine of gladness. So I want to encourage you today. I know life is not easy. I know it's not a bed of roses. I know we get challenges and difficulties on our way. You just know we belong to the bridegroom. We will be reconciled to him when we die. Remember Jesus turned to the repentant thief on the cross and he said to him, Today you'll be with me in paradise. We can expect heaven. It's promised to us even in John 14 that I will go before you and I will prepare a place for you that our father or his father 
father's home has got many rooms and he will prepare a place for us. We have a spiritual destiny. We have a friend in the Holy Spirit and we have a savior in, in the best bridegroom and mediator, the son of God. So just remember, live in joy. Jesus is our joy. He's wiping our tears away in heaven one day or when we pass on and just know that your tears of sadness will turn into tears of gladness, even in this life. If we think of the water that was changed into a beautiful wine of gladness or a wine of spiritual gladness. Stay positive, stay joyful, be happy because God loves you. And for those that do not know the groom of all ages, I invite you today, if you want to come to the biggest wedding bash in heaven, take this invitation Go on your knees and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord, Savior and groom of the future. When he will return for his bride or when you pass him, you will meet him. Until next time, remember, just believe.